all right guys welcome to hopefully the final video and the last part of your tutorial series in this video we are going to work on the flame we are going to make sure it emits like real fire from different angles so that actually gives a realistic burning effect and then we'll do some basic compositing and some render settings and we'll be done with our final render and would we'll finally end this tutorial series so let's get into the video so the very first thing we want to do is we want to select our object for now and we are in fact just going to in fact let's go back to our smoke domain sorry we are going to our smoke domain and we are going to free the data yeah so all that we've baked we're actually taking it off and now we want to go back to our smoke domain and want to enter into x-ray mode and we want to go to vertex groups and now we are going to add a new group in fact and we just want to go to edit mode and this is where all the fun starts so holding down shift i'm coming to select multiple regions this is where our fire is going to emit from actually so i want a little portion of the ropes i want this part and i think i like this i also like this so i'm just freestyling and doing some form of random selection here if you can realize so it's not too it's not too rigorous just really select spaces and i'm going to assign this as a vertex group and just to be sure that i've actually assigned a vertex group i'm going to select and deselect and i select again and now i know i have a vertex group now i'm going to go back into the properties tab right here and on the vertex group i'm going to select exactly what i chose and now the file is going to emit from those places that we have selected so i'm going to hit ctrl s and now I'm going to come back to our domain and let me go back to object mode and let me just turn my screencast keys on quickly. I always forget. All right. And so now I'm going to hit our domain and we are going to bake everything again. This time I'm very sure we have our settings and everything as they should be. Also, you want to turn this both back on because now some parts of the fire would be emitting so this is what your final scene should look like and we are just going to bake the data quickly when it's done i'll get back to you i'm going to forward the video to actually the point where it's done so we see okay so bake okay so my baking is complete and this is the result i had um, you can feel free to experiment around with it and see the kind of effects you like just by changing your vertex groups. But as I know, this is what mine looks like. So as you can see, it's not done so well. But if you take your time and take maybe just the ropes and the wooden portion, you would really, really like the results also give the animation some breathing space I and mean, if i move to something like frame 67 right now you would see that a lot more fire is burning so that's also another point to help it look better okay so just because i don't really have much time to keep going back and forth i want to quickly head on to the render settings so i'm just going to leave my animation like this for now so um i am going to go into this render space um personally for a scene like this i really wouldn't want to denoise because i like these orange things over here they do give it some form of like sparks so i'm just going to leave that right there for the light part I'm just going to divide everything by 2. So from 12, we are taking it down to 6. Um, 
everything else is going down so the diffuse goes down let me enter my solid view again glossy goes down by two transmission goes down to six and transparency goes down to four just to help my render time speed up um, so i'm not going to denoise like i said so my render is not going to be denoised because personally i don't need it you can feel free to try your denoise i do not really think you might need it i'm not too sure if you need it but you could also have it there in your render layers I'm going to turn off my opacity and i'm just going to play around with my settings so i'm going to leave everything as it is right now and then i'm just going to hit ctrl s and i'm going to open the compositor but before that we do need to render our image and i'm just going to render about um 16 samples this is just to help me compose it but my final render will be 128 samples so i'm just going to render this quickly and i'll forward the video to when it's done okay so apparently i made a mistake um apparently i only edited my minimum samples in my viewport i'm going to switch that back to zero and i'm going to change my max samples to 16 in the render tab and i'm going to give it a time limit of one minute this means that if you are rendering beyond one minute or if your render time reaches one minute it would automatically stop at the number of samples you have this can be convenient as i was rendering i also realized i really really did not like this fire simulation vertex group i had made so i'm currently going to edit it so i'm just going to select this body again and i'm going to really edit the vertex group because i feel like it's actually that bad so um this means we'll have to bake again and that's actually what i wanted to avoid so i'm coming to make a new group and i'll just leave our group one and i'm going to go into tab my edit mode and i'm still going to move all the way here and this time i want to make sure i get quality details so i'm picking this and this and sometimes you just want to invert your selection so you see exactly how it's going to look um i really want to turn off my smoke domain okay so i just turned off the smoke domain so i could see so the yellow part is currently the part that's going to be on fire and i'm just trying to find something that would look very realistic and rewarding and comforting at the same time so i feel like this should all be in it and yeah this is not so bad as i now and just invert this you want to you don't want to highlight full portions of the boots because and you also do want to play with the bottom because sometimes it's the bottom where the fire starts from so a lot of fire actually comes from the bottom you just add your selections so something like this all you should know is that the fire doesn't come from the whole scene and i just want to take this out so all i'm doing is just selecting and inverting my selection that's all i'm doing and in the end i pick one that i really really think is very good so i think this would be good as my new flame so the flame is going to come from all my highlighted sources right now and i think i really like this one i feel like i want another black patch here so i'm just going to select something like this and invert it and just save that okay i also feel like my pole is not burning at all so let me just take this portion out let me just add this portion to the fire and yeah i think i think i'm really going to like this especially having fire come from all here 
to be honest i can't even choose exactly where i want the facts come from i think i'm going to go with this one and i'm going to assign select deselect and select again and i'm going to go back in so i'm now going to turn back my flame back on and i'm going to go into my properties and i'm going to choose my group as now group one and i this means i have to go and free the data and then we'll bake again so smoke domain free data bake again and so i would let you know as soon as it's complete i'm going to forward the video to that portion in fact so. all right guys so this is what mine turned out after a few tweaks it's still not the best but i think it's better than what i had before so if i enter my rendered mode right now it's going to look like this and i think i actually prefer this than to what i had at first even though i still feel like there's still too much fire i think i prefer this like i said as compared to what i had initially okay so now we just want to do a little composition composite and so i'm going to actually render this again just go and hit render image and this is going to take only one minute so i don't really think i need to forward the video so this is actually just taking one minute but it's actually looking okay it's not so bad um so if you want to make an animation from this you just need to animate your camera i'm very sure that's quite basic so i haven't really gone through the animation also i'm going to share my original project file and i'm going to put that on my patreon for one dollar one dollar or I'll probably make the project file free i'm still thinking about it i think i'll make the project file free yeah but you do have to follow the tutorial along okay so um yeah so let's 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 wait for this to finish rendering we already have 11 samples and that's that's okay so we, this was this is around 11 samples and it's not denoised so we are going to go into composition and i'm just going to close this quickly so and we're going to enter the compositing tab and the first thing you want to click is use notes um well people have their own compositing workflow and stuff usually i think i'll just grab this and i'm going to add a viewer node and i'm also going to put this here and i'm going to add a reroute node which you get by pressing and shift and you just drag a line and you get a reroute but even with that i am actually not going to work on this tab sometimes it's irritating seeing the nodes so i'm actually going to turn the backdrop off and i'm going to make this my compositor workspace okay so this is where i actually want to work from and i'm going to convert this into an image editor in fact two image editors and for this i'm going to search viewer node so this is where my viewer is going to be and from here i'm going to search render results so this is where we be getting everything so for compositing, we are just going to do basic compositing. So the first thing I want to add is RGB curves. So shift A and we're going to search for RGB curves. And now we are just coming to color correct everything. So just bring the contrast down a bit. So we get that depth feeling. I'm also going to add a color balance just here. And I would like a lot of blue in my scene because I feel like it's dark, it's in the evenings, nighttime. So 
we are getting in a bit of dark blue and there we go also bring in some yellow a little yellow and we're just gonna bump this up a little so you see we're just we're just playing with the figures right now i might even get a different result from what i had the very first time and also bring in a little more blue i think i have to make this more emphasized i'm just gonna run this up a little bit and just throw in a little more blue this is more like sky feeling so this should be around here a bit okay and then i'm going to add in a lens um from here we'll be adding that's actually most of the, my composting workflow i still have a few things i add usually i prefer to add and a i should be adding a lens distortion just not yet yet i feel like it's a little rushed but i'll just add it for now so i'm going to make this point zero one and also put the point zero one on this for my lens distortion and we're going to select fit or point zero two i think point zero two is good enough and point zero two and i'm going to add in a blur I feel like everything is too sharp. So let's just add in blur. And I'm going to go into relative and give it 2%. And that's actually a lot. Make it 0.2% or 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is still too okay. So 0 0.2 and 0.2%. And I'm going to come back in. And now I want to even add more common noise. Oh, I think. Yeah, so this, this is not exactly, exactly how I did it. But this should give you a fair ideal, idea of how I made the burning bottle. How you could also make cool renders like this in Blender. If this helped you so much, please subscribe, leave a like. I have far more content coming up to you so you could render this as an animation you do some camera angles i want to leave you guys to be creative to do that part so once again please subscribe to my youtube and my patreon the link to all those things are in the description thank you the tutorial series is finally over